little more interesting. <laughs> Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Donruss Elite Football 12 box, pick your team number 3 from jazbeescasebreaks.com We still have Nick Jaspi helping us so thanks to Nick yeah, and Chron big thanks to all of these folks right here Chronicles is a mix of all the products that's why the Origins is in there It's like an assortment a buffet of bits Pre-order Chronicles Basketball right now. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com breaks on Friday. Yeah, it's got Origins, Gold Standard, XR. Gala is in there. Valiant. So there's a few. Oh, my God. No, no, that was a fail. No pyramid for this one. And Jaspies has the absolute best prices, says Eric Bailey. Like Amazon. Are you saying we priced it right? Eric, that tells me that we priced it wrong. Free shipping. Thank you, Eric Bailey. We'll be raising prices on the next case. On the next case. I actually think we only got the four. So. Try to get more. Yeah, I always get nervous when people are like, oh, they've got the best prices. I was like, wait a second. Basketball's been flying at Jaspies lately. It's crazy. Gala, NT. Oh, I, I got, I was, we were talking about this the other night. I was like, hey, listen, the, 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 the reality is that if we do more of this 1819 basketball, yeah, we can well, get more well, Zion basketball yeah. 1920. So it's a collective effort. We used to never be able to fill basketball. People remember. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was our hardest one. I mean, the old website, we never sold much. Mostly baseball, football. Wait, Luka Doncic has cards in Goodwin Champions? Mm-hmm. Oh. There's Tiger Woods, Michael Jordan, LeBron. We might see a it's case of that. It's so hard to find. Yeah. And then, like, you have, like, a billiard player. <laughs> like the tennis, table tennis. <laughs> They've got, like, such randos in there. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Is Goodwin Champions... Jeez, in the blaster. Wow, Joe in the hit a 9,000 in a... Jeez. He hit a 9,000 in a megabox. I was like, what the hell? Dang. I was like, that's probably a good money right there. That's probably a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. I was like, oh my goodness. I was like, everybody got a chat. Yeah. Eric Bailey wants us to post the Pelicans filler now for NT. <laughs> I know. That's assuming if he has autographs. I don't, we don't even know yet. They haven't even... We haven't, haven't figured that out yet? Yeah. I mean, they posted a bunch of athletes signing on draft day. Uh -huh. he, he, he was not one, one of them. them. Huh? They, that would be a major... I mean, I'm sure they're offering everything, but it's kind of his choice, you know? I mean... I don't know. The, and Panini just re-upped the basketball license, too, I think, yeah. recently, you so... Think, you think they'd be, be like, hey, NBA, we got to get him with us? Of course. But, I don't know. If he signs it up with that, next year's Goodwin Champs, baby. <laughs> I know, <laughs> right? Be, we'll be doing filler for Goodwin Champs. It'll be monster. <laughs> Those but then like, it'll be like Ben Simmons where like, like where like break. Zion base cards will go for like yeah. thousands of dollars. Well, yeah, definitely. They'll still be a huge value like in Prism and stuff. Yeah. All right, folks. Prism, box one. Some of the silver is still for more than their autographs. Oh, isn't that crazy? These will uh, sleeve and top load as they get sorted out. We'll do that later. Um, obviously, veteran commons won't ship. Stuff like this will ship. And there'll be a hit recap video. I should have mentioned that a little bit earlier. There'll be a hit recap video uh, for those of you watching this replay. And you're like, I don't want to sit here for like an hour-long break. Then go to our YouTube page and you should be able to see a recap video for Pick Your Team 3. Just the hits. Relics and autos. And relic autos. And we got Impact Impressions. Bradley Chubb. 4 out of 99. This big chub going to Mark Irons in the Broncos. We're going to have to make, um, I think John Samuelson wants us to make uh, big chub t-shirts and put Nick and Bradley picture on there and make some sort of innuendo. It's like one you see on like the shore or something, like Venice Beach. <laughs> right, right. All right, we're going to make a Venice Beach t-shirt. Yeah. 
Oh, we're going to make Mayfield. Boom. Um. Wait, they just lined... Oh, okay. It's a final. Um, I think it's considered 2017-18. And there's Will Greer. Steve Olson. This is exactly who you were looking for. Or no, you wanted McCaffrey, but this is still great too. Panthers. That's awesome. That's our first Will Greer. WG. He's going to be that guy, huh? There you go. That's the shirt. John Tammons. There he is. I got my big chub at Jaspies. But it'll be Bradley and Nick Chubb. Like face. cards? That yeah. Cool. Yeah. So it'll... That's funny. I don't hate it. We start selling more merch then. I know. <laughs> that I would know. be kind of ironic if we sold more box up or more merch. It's so. all come out anyway. Yeah, I don't, I don't, it all comes out in the wash. Yeah, I think it's six. I think it's seventeen, eighteen. But it's a pretty small checklist, so I guess. Michael Thomas, Craftsman Relic for the Saints. That's going to go to Joe Carmona. Yeah, I think, Gianni, uh, yeah, all things considered, I think you lucked out on that soccer game. I don't know why they didn't play their starters. And I guess we still won, but... That sports action guy was wrong. Come on. He had the underwriting. There's Back to the Future autograph, 16 out of 99. Chris Jones for Gabriel and the Chiefs. Gabriel Barrera. Not Gilo. Austin Riley. Austin Riley hit another home run? No, he's up next. Oh. I'll try to make Mahomes too. Yo! Why oh? Alright, I'll slide this over into the camera frame. Mahomes. Mo Oi! Yo! Mahomes' girlfriend went off on Instagram. What? What happened? People were saying, oh, you're not like pretty enough for a trick. So then she posted like this bikini kiss. Whoa. Stunting on the hazers. Wow. Nikhil Harry, blue ink autograph this time, Karen. I think the last one was black ink. I'm tuned into the NFL players' wives Instagram. Wags? Wives, wives and girlfriends? Yeah. There used to be a show called the NBA Wags, I think. I think it's still on. Oh, it is? I'm pretty sure. Not that you watch it or anything. No. I mean. You just flip through the channel. Yeah, and it's like, I don't know. What's this on TNT? TBS or whatever network it's on. Oxygen. Yeah, one of those. Definitely not. Something I watch. Like DVR. That's it. I think, uh, did, didn't, uh, Steph Curry's wife got some of that treatment too. Yeah. But I think she, I think she kind of brought it on herself though. I think yeah. she was on like on Steph. the View or something like that. She sits I think. Next to Steph Curry's mom, who's very pretty for her age. Oh, I see. But I think there was she had implied on a TV show that she would like to get more attention or something yeah, like said, that. And I was like, she, oh, no, she no, said like Steph gets a lot of attention from like group, NBA groupies, so that she gets like offended by that. But that just kind of comes. Oh, it's comes to the territory. Yeah. He's like the best player in the NBA. For I already got an O. I don't need another O. Yo! And we got throwback threads out of 25. Jim Kelly. Jeffrey Punt. Buffalo! And there's someone on the back, too. Yeah. Oh, th is this is like... Duel. I didn't realize it was a duel. No. That's why I, s I saw you flip it. I was like, there's kind of Wait a second, yeah. There's Andre Reed. 
and Jim Kelly. Buffalo! Jim Kelly, like, battling cancer back, like, five times or whatever. Let's carry on Johnson to 99. Ooh, G-Lo throwing shade. Watch it. He's saying, he's saying Mahomes GF wow. is an attention hog. Wow. Wow. Remember AJ McCarron's wife and then Brett Musburger was like, <laughs> <laughs> wow. He was just like, he was just all like over it. creepy old man. <laughs> It was like oh, a, man. it was like a, it was a bowl a national game. Championship it was a game. national championship game, was, right? Yeah, Alabama national championship. Major McCarran and, and his Brent, wife is very beautiful. And Brent now Musburger wife, I think. was just like drool, like jaw drop drooling. Tyler Boyd for the drool. Bengals, Scott. Do you guys remember that? Brent Musburger, AJ McCarron's girlfriend at the time, wife now. Wow, that's just yeah, <laughs> that's just... remarkable. <laughs> yeah, you kept saying like these weird adjectives. <laughs> Right, because he couldn't just straight up be yeah. like, what a what a fine really piece, of, like whatever, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he was just like, <laughs> the adjectives were funny. They were like remarkable, yeah. like amazing, yeah, stunning, stunning, just s- superb, yeah, spectacular. And the camera kept flipping to it, yeah. so they were begging him to keep talking about it. Oh, yeah. Oh boy, that was funny. There's Josh Jacobs from our Raiders. Jared Demro with the silver and black. Yes, Chronicles is new. Basketball. No, I think Chronicles basketball was out last year. Yeah, they did b- baseball and basketball. And so it's like a it's like a smorgasbord product. It's like a buffet. There'll be all sorts of different styles, gold standard and spectra and this and that. Yeah, I think they had it last year cuz we've done it on eBay before. So, yeah, he'll have it. And track. Musburger, you know, he he owns the creepiness now. Oh right, when McCarron got traded to the Raiders, he, he did make a tweet about. Yeah. You love Tim Tebow more. I mean, she is attractive. Yeah. Mrs. Still McCarron. Still Mrs. McCarron. I'm pretty yeah. sure they are too. Man, her stock went way up that night, though. Instagram oh yeah. Follows, man. Instagram follows <clears throat> went up like Bitcoin. Thirteen thousand now, Bitcoin. Man, I, I saw that. Man, those quotes were crazy, though. <laughs> if you read it with like no context, it would be like, "What?" The? And yeah, it's is, not like is a, he talking about a car. It's not like he... an October game. It's a national championship. <laughs> right, <laughs> so right. Like, right. So, so there's like, like there's five million, five million people about. watching this. Yeah. yeah. There is a throwback threads. Fran Tarkenton to fifteen, three out of fifteen for the Vikings. That's for John Post. They released him, and then he was on the Bills. I think they released Bills released them. I don't know where he is now. Where are they now? Eric Bailey saying Musburger still loves Tim Tebow more than AJ's girlfriend. He what what's what's Musburger doing now? He's like the V Sin guy. Oh he's oh yeah, Vegas Insider. Vegas, yeah. And then I think he's gonna do Vegas Raider games on the radio. Yeah, that's right. I think he'd uh, yeah, I think he so does do Vegas. Yeah, I think he does do. I think he started that last year. I want to oh, say. Oh, last year. And then yeah, he'll do it when they do. But yeah, I think he just. Oh right, it's the it's the t- it's the Raiders TV guy that's really famous. He's. Yeah, I don't know him. But yeah, he's got a really distinctive voice. You'll like know. You'll be like, oh yeah. Every time you see, you hear Raiders highlights, it's him like being played in the background. Mm-hmm. Like. Like CBS guy? Uh, you do, John Post. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You have the Dolphins. Your name is right above it. Uh, Nicola has the Vikings. Sorry. Thankfully, the shipping team doesn't go by, go by what I say. They go by that piece of paper. Ah, oh, this is not going to be a good one. There's Terry McLaurin. I thought you were talking about the box. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the, the blank pile. That's very important. Brett Musburger would not be oogly now. 
Should not be talking about that one. Uh, that's for Corey K and the Redskins. We have not seen a Dwayne Haskins yet, Corey, so I still have a lot of case to go. And, oh, I saw the Redskins logo, but it's just Pen Pals edition now. Terry McLaurin. We're getting warmer. Oh, that's two Redskins in a row. Corey Kay's heating up from downtown. He's on fire. Oh, we should get NBA Jam for the store. I'll bet that thing is expensive. Game? Yeah, the arcade game. I'll bet that's pricey. I think I did see one, but it was just kind of old, beat up. We should just run a run it's a. Got 101, and there's so many games on it. The golf one is really fun. Golden Tee? Yeah, and there's Golden Tee two also. Golden Tee two. There's Golden Tee and Golden Tee two. What about it? What about that one deer hunting game with like the? Oh, I, they had <laughs> sold some of those, and they go for so cheap, like a few hundred bucks. What? No one wants to shoot deer? I think it's just yeah. I don't know how hmm. it would go in California. Maybe not. With two guns. <laughs> Two big guns pointing at animals. I don't know how it would go. No, it's like it's like, like it's game. like a it's a it's a liberal's guilty pleasure <laughs> <laughs> to to shoot without consequences. Imagine, yeah. yeah. It just doesn't really go with the sports theme. I guess. I guess not. Or a, like a pop culture. That's kind of what we're going for. And there's another Fran Tarkenton for Nikola and the Vikings. It's 230 to 299. Hey, hey, what's going on, Robert? I would just like to get an old console, like maybe a Nintendo Wii or something. Oh, yeah. Get That'd that be, in there. Good times. Or like a. Original some, PlayStation. Some, some Wii Tennis. Listen. We bowling. ESPN NFL 2K5. We got turn of the century to 49. Debo Samuel for the Niners. That'll be for Glenn Campbell. Last spot mojo. Strikes again. 70% of the time. Last spot mojo hits. 100% of the time. Some backyard Todd, baseball. what's going on? Backyard baseball. Todd, you guys, you should visit the store when it opens up, Todd. We've got a we've got our card bar that we were showing off earlier. It's an actual bar nice. that we bought with the cards. I think I still have a Wii around somewhere. They stopped making them, I think. Yeah, well, because they it's the Switch now. Yeah. Well, not really. That's their big console. But yeah, but they're not the same really. No, they're not. The Wii's way better. Wii Sports. Nintendo's just great at getting you getting you to buy the to same buy games like yeah. like a million times. The same Super Mario like yeah. Mario Kart for sixty dollars. Yep, and it's just like Mario Kart Mario Super Mario Kart no, no Mario Kart sixty four no adding Mario courses, Kart for right? Wii yeah like it's Rainbow Road all those yeah it's all the same forms. thing. Pen pals autograph for Karen and her Patriots. Mark Matson will donate the Wii. Yeah, the new shot's going to be great. You bring, this is definitely, you can bring the whole family kind of shop. We've got a pinball machine there, arcade games there. You know, if people get bored, you can just walk down Pier Avenue. You can go to all the restaurants and shops that are in Hermosa Beach. Go to the pier. We'll have trade nights and stuff. Oh, yeah, it'll be great. Autograph signers. Uh, 
Uh, Carmo, you need the Cowboys checklist? Here, I, I can drop the checklist for you in the chat. I don't know off the top of my head who we're looking for cowboys wise though. That's right. Veterans. That's right, Todd. Fun but entertaining. Seek it out of it. I don't think I make I don't think I have enough letters for that guy. Mitchell Trubisky, elite coverage dual relic. Two hundred to one. Twin MVP. Two hundred to one to win the MVP. Who's taking that? Couple. Bears fans will. Got a couple of pesos in Mexico. Put some doubloons on that. Yeah. Some pieces of eight. Some euros. Some euros. Some pounds. Did they Brexit already? I don't doing? know, like... I think they pressed pause on it, right? Did... It was such, like, a big deal for, like... Well, did, like... Does England... Did they ever use euros, or did they always use pounds? I think they always used it because pounds, of Brexit, but they you could to accept pounds. euros. Okay. I thought they were, like, in a weird in-betweener. So when... If we go to London, England... What is this? We have to go to... Two out of five? Wow. Oh, it's the second M? <laughs> that would have been cooler for this first end. Two out of five I mean, spellbound. Oh, you know well, because they kind of gray it out right here. Oh, I see, I see. Should have been the first end. I know he was Patrick Mahomes' second. I forgot that. There you go. My homies. Patrick Mahomes going to Gabriel. Gabriel B. Two out of five. Out of fives and under. Get the train whistle. All aboard. Whoop, whoop. Friend of Jaspie's. He is a friend of Jaspie. We we opened yeah, yeah we opened a box with him at the rookie premiere was, a couple and years then he ago. He was like that Peyton Manning is really worth that much. Yeah. And I think he put it in his pocket. He tried to snag it. Yeah. He pulled like a Peyton Manning one on one auto. Or something. It was crazy. From like elite. He was really nice. Yeah, he was cool. He was really chill. He was probably the nicest out of anything. I think so. I mean, when your dad's like a big leaguer, he's grown up in like locker rooms. Yeah. I think he's just so chill. Wasn't like the most Carson Joey Wentz. Bosa. Joey Bosa was just He's like kind of, a, kind of a D. I don't know if he was just kind of like socially. Just like a, he, he he looked like he didn't want to be there. Yeah, he was kind of. And Nick Bosa was the same, which is funny. And they talked really? the exact same. Like their voice. Great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of like a bro, but he's like not because he's not very enthusiastic. like like a bro, like an but enthusiastic bro. Like Gronk is like a bro, but like a bro, but, like he seems like fun to hang yeah, out with. Yeah, he'd probably be nice. If right, probably him. be nice. But then these guys are like bros who are yeah. just like not nice. <laughs> They're good at football though, so that's all that matters, I guess. Yeah, that the entire family. Pretty good. Yeah, the whole family. They're just like ge genetically predisposed to. Defensive ends. Yeah. Nice AJ Brown autograph out of 10. Nice. One out of 10. That's nice. Tennessee Titans. Amy Thompson. Look those oranges. Those Tighten up. Yeah, that orange looks sharp with the little sparkles those in the background. Nice. Looks like the back of a sparklets truck. Ever, ever, anyone ever look up really closely at a sparklets water truck? And you see what makes those things reflect? They're actually just these little metal discs that are like on hooks that just swing around. I don't know how like those don't get stolen all the time. I can't say I've done that. There's Marquise Brown. You know what truck I always think of? Is that one you posted on Facebook a few years ago? It's so funny. What was it? Oh, the ISIS truck? <laughs> and then you put death to finality or whatever. <laughs> There was a There's truck a, that I saw. It was like a van. It was like a... I-S-Y-S. But it was like... It was I-S-Y-S-A. Yeah, yeah. It's like information systems or something. Something lame like that. But they like... They install like good audio into your... Like sound and stuff. They set up like audio in your home. Home audio stuff. But it's like... It reads ISIS. <laughs> it's 
I post it on Death face, to low on Facebook, and I'm like just like <laughs> death to low fidelity. Yeah. <laughs> that was really funny. Oh, that was, that was a good moment. Riley Ridley. Pen Pals, on-card autograph. It's Calvin's brother going to Matthew K. and the Bears. You're welcome. There's an Isis Avenue spelled exactly. There is, right. I see that. I drive by that all the time. You think that neighborhood's just like, can we... They hate it. They must hate it. They gotta hate it, right? They gotta hate it. I want to do, do like a local news spot I mean, and go there ISIS and be like... isn't really as like... Kind of like a afterthought now. No one talks about ISIS anymore? Not really, right? What's the new scary country then? Or it's scary know. what's our next scary threat? It'll psych back up with the election, I bet. But Oh yeah, we'll hear a lot of a lot of ISIS. <laughs> that was funny that truck though. Death to low sound or something. <laughs> Death to low fidelity. Yeah. Alright. Another box you have right to change here. Your business name. Another box. Yeah, you gotta change the business. It can't be ISIS anymore. Yeah. ISIS breaks stuff. So another box right here. Another box right there. And you can see Nick Jaffe working on that box. And that box way over there is our last box of this case. So we're a little about, about halfway through. I think we're going fly through these last ones. Good luck, everybody. I feel that ceiling come up. It's 15, 20 minutes. I'll do it. Yeah, we still have Nick Jaspi. Uh, we still have Nick Jaspi helping us out. So if we fill up that stadium club, that stadium club could go rather quickly. It's not a stadium club. Half case randoms aren't as long as this, but if we, you know, if we can get through a stadium club even faster than doing it solo by myself, then we can squeeze in another elite break at the end of the night, and I can do that solo. Isn't it like a flower? Go tip? for it, folks. I think it might be a flower or something. <laughs> going hitless is a scary threat. Doug Baldwin uh, for Eric Bailey. Doug Baldwin going to Michael... No, John Post. John Post has the Seahawks, sorry. That's the team Post has. Isis is a protective goddess, says Todd, who has used powerful magic spells to help people in need. What, in, like, ancient Egypt? They're going to clip this and use this in, like, the next ISIS I know. If video. this is in the next ISIS video... Recruiting video. Their marketing department is so great. I might move to Tahiti or something somewhere. Off the grid. Mexico. Yeah, I'm more of a... More of a raw kind of guy, Todd. Princess? More, more Osiris. I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> All right, turn of the century, Miko Hardman, Junior, out of twenty. It's another Chief going out to Gabriel B. Nice. <clears throat> Tyreek Hill replacement. Yep. Although the Chiefs look like they're going to keep him. So. I read it. he's only going to get suspended a couple games, too. Which is kind of sad. That suspension is just so weird. It's so bad. It's like... Brady gets suspended for... Yeah, I feel like I feel like eight. Roger Goodell just rolls a die and just goes, ah, that's how many games. So arbitrary. It's because I don't think... I think it's because it's not on tape. Even though that shouldn't be a reason, I think it is. It's on audio tape. Well, yeah, but... <laughs> There's East and Stick. It's a little different when you see the video. I guess so. But it, it shouldn't be. I'm not saying it yeah, should. Yeah, is that what it gets to now? Like, we have yeah. to see a video now for it yeah. to... Or else it didn't... Like, picture it didn't happen? It's not like... He, he had problems in the past, too. So that course, should yeah. factor in, too. There's Easton Stick. Jason Waters with the Chargers. Hearing a lot of good things about Easton. Could be... Could be Philip Rivers replacing. He can't play forever. Gilo yeah, says about six games. I was listening to the Sirius XM guy. He said two to three games. His guy was saying, but that was just some random guy. So it could be more. 
I wouldn't be shocked if it's like two or three, though. No, I wouldn't be either. Because I don't think you got charged for it. I think the charges were dropped. The charges were dropped? I think so. I can feel it. It was, it was at 72. Thermosat was trying to kill us. Trying to turn this into a sauna. All right, there's Craftsman Relic, Jameis Winston. Jason uh, Wilson, what's going on after this, guys? I don't know. I don't think anything sold out after this. I see four orders coming in. Now, Nick Jaspi has kindly said that he would do another Elite if it sold out by the end of this break, so within like another you know, 20 minutes or so. But there's still 21 left, 21 teams left in Pick Your Team 4. There's 11, we should do that Stadium Club. There's 11 spots left in that Stadium Club filler, which will sell out Stadium Club Half Case 1. I feel like we should do that. Buccaneers Relic going to Chad Stork. So all of that is on jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you click that link in the chat, it'll take you to our website. You're guaranteed a Stadium Club spot. And yeah, in that filler, you're, every spot is guaranteed a Stadium Club spot. It's just priced slightly higher just um, because you'll be able to chase that 8x10. There's Mahomes. Well, yeah, I feel like that relationship between Tyreek Hill and his girlfriend is just really toxic. <laughs> because she was just like, I don't know, I don't think she was like encouraging it, but she wasn't stopping it either. And... She was like, and then she recorded him to try to like perverse. have leverage on him, and yeah. not a good relationship. So but he had problems in college. She don't know yeah. if he was with her in college. Twenty-one out of twenty-five, Bryce Love. Yeah, Yo Po, we got a giveaway tonight. Fifty dollars of break credit being given away in the football mixer on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So if you buy into that, you have a chance at that fifty dollars of break credit being given away. We'll just randomize all the names in that break. Everyone who bought in at the end of the break. Separate randomizer, name on top. We'll, we'll get 50 bucks of break credit to use next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. It's a nice giveaway. And pen pals, Debo Samuel. Debos. That's what it looks like. Debos. Pen pal, on card auto, Glenn Campbell. Last spot, Mojo. No worries, Sam. That was a cool one of one. What's that song? <laughs> I've been working on the railroad. Why am I saying that? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, just because you're penny sleeving a bunch of numbered cards and. <laughs> Just like the grind, man. The grind. You're like a coal worker, coal miner. That's weird. It must have heard on a commercial or something. Yeah, that is weird. Why are you singing like in 1800s? I thought it was like a sports song. Uh, I was doing it. I don't think I need to pick your team stadium club. We only got a couple cases of that. So probably just random teams. Yeah, probably just random teams, Robert. Sorry. I think we'll have more museum tomorrow, though. We'll Ooh, have a bunch of other more stuff tomorrow. tomorrow. So check the site in the morning. All right, there's another box right here. So we've got one, two, three, four boxes left, and then we are done, folks. Yeah, we'll have National Treasures 
basketball probably Monday or Tuesday next week. Have a couple more. Because nice. Chronicles is Friday, so we'll probably post it after we sell those out. Craftsman Relic. Carson Wentz. Darji with the Eagles. Is this future uh, future quarterback for the he's Bengals? Like he's saying, what the? You're going the wrong way. That's what he looks like. He's saying, wrong route. Uh, come on. No. No, you were supposed to come back, not keep. you got to think they let Andy Dalton go soon, right? I mean, how long has he been quarterback for the Whoa. Bengals? What have they done? Oh, that could have been disastrous. That was a ghost. That was a ghost knocked over. Ghost of the spider, ghost, right? Ghost of the spider knocked over my right backpack. My face, breathing it in. There's another one hiding right back there. Well, you, you didn't see say it? that before I was pack sacking here. Look at that. My you legs see? are exposed under this I know. table. I know. It's gonna crawl up my pant leg. I gotta put. <laughs> I gotta tuck my sock pants into my socks. <laughs> Wear baseball pants next. Yeah, time. seriously. No, no spy. No spiders in my, in my leg. I don't think Joe. Beyond July 4th, probably not. I was thinking about going uh, on in the morning, but I don't know how busy it would be. I don't know if I'm going to do that July 4th. I might not be around. Ooh. Oh, it's in the middle of the week this year? Yeah, it's Thursday. Oh, Thursday. That's so. That's a bad day to do it. Next year, it's Friday. They should. It should always be on, like, <laughs> Monday or Friday. Like, observe. So, like, <laughs> no, no, 4th of July, oh, <laughs> but, but, like, observe. observe. You're right. I'm like, that doesn't work. <laughs> You know, I but, was thinking, why do days change anyway? Uh, like, why do they all? Why is I have no why idea. is July Fourth a Thursday this year, but it'll be a Friday next year? Why do they do that? I don't know. Just why not? Why not just keep the calendar the a, same? Is it a leap year thing? I think so. I mean, does leap year screw everything up? But why do they alternate it then? Yeah, why can't? I don't know. It's something. Why can't Fourth of July like, just? We should just adjust the calendar. Have Fourth of July land on a Friday every year. Super Bowl. And have Super Bowl Monday. Dave, yeah, you, got, you gotta have Super Bowl, Bowl after the Monday. Vacation. Have to be a holiday. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's well, just good for business. Should run for president. Those are our campaign. Sports betting <laughs> legal in all fifty states. Yeah. Super sports, Bowl, Super Bowl Monday, sports, day off. Sports case breaks live from the White House. Yeah, can we? David Montgomery with the Bears. Uh, that goes to Matthew Cabe. Travis Kelsey, 49. Johan Camargo. He's still around. He's still pretty young, right? Thought oh, I like, thought he was, like, older. I, th I remember or I thought he, he just bounced around a little bit. I don't know. We might have a special product releasing July 5th, so... Oh, because 365 is not multiples. Oh, it's not, they're not multiples of seven, so it shifts everything. So they don't divide evenly into the Gregorian calendar. That means each year, dates shift over one day well, of the week like, and then two during the like years. That's like Spanish to me. I don't really get that. Sorry. I kind of I kind of get it. There's DK Metcalf to 99. My college educated. Yeah, we're just, we're just humble case breakers here, Todd. Enough of that witchcraft. Witchcraft. What kind of witchcraft are you talking about? Days moving around. What are you? What are you? A, a god? Hey, July Fourth is just falling Friday every. Year. Moving dates around. July Fourth. I feel like I feel like time, time is arbitrary. Is an arbitrary That'd construct be so by man. That'd so stupid if they observed it on not July Fourth. Oh, happy July Fourth. <laughs> observed. Oh, happy July Fourth. This is like July seventh. It's like that's kind of stupid. Crash. <laughs> I just want it on a weekend. That's all. Uh, Johnny, quick question. Is there an expiration date on break credit? Never. Ever an expiration date. I think date. legally we okay. have to. Um, like, not legally. Really. I think legally you can't. Like gift cards can never expire. No, I think legally you're supposed to do it. Oh. Maybe, maybe you're right. No, I think 
I think that's why we did on the last I think it's part. opposite. That was the excuse that, that I, that I, last person had. That last person is wrong. Okay. I wouldn't doubt if that last person was wrong. That last person who told us that was a liar. Adrian Wojnarowski would not use that last person as a source. That Adrian Wojnarowski would not. No, nor would Adam be like, Schefter. Be like Chris Broussard uses that. Chris Broussard source. might. Or like Skip Bayless. Noah Font. Turn of the century autograph for the Broncos. Oppo, Joe, Mojo, Mark Irons out of 149. Because then they'd be like, oh, hey, these people sell them these gift cards, but we're not going to give you the money back. Yeah, I've not seen any Giants or Packers yet. We still have a few boxes to go. There's hundreds of dollars gift cards that go unused every day. It's every like day. The, it's like the... It's crazy. It's like the pet commercial. Yeah. They have the, the ASPCA or whatever. Oh, that's a sad with the like, Sarah, with the sad Sarah McLaughlin music. I was about to say Sarah Silverman. Nobody would want to hear that. Yeah, no, no. no, no. <laughs> That'd be t- she'd be like, what? yeah, she'd Whatever sound like one. Of, she'd sound like one of the cats. In the... She'd sound like Regget Ralph. <laughs> right, she'd sound <laughs> like a, a nine-year-old kid. Spellbound, Mahomes. That's the first M. I don't think we're gonna get any letters, any name, any last names. The spellbound cards. Another Terry McLaurin for Corey K and the Redskins. No, I think it had to be Jerry Rice or Ty Law or something. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Eric Bailey. Yeah, we might have some more apple pie box breaks in the future. Yeah, Series. maybe one that we did in October with Series Fanatics. Three. Maybe that might be coming if they, that, they get sh- guys remember that delivered. Fanatics jersey break that we did? We can do that. Bring that one back. It might be coming July 4th weekend. Who knows? Wow. Some fireworks. Some inside sources. That's Adam Schefter right here. Ken Rosenthal with the info. If it gets Woj, delivered. Woj bomb. If it gets delivered in time. Yeah, come on, Finex. Deliver that stuff. Overnight it. Yeah. Drive to wherever and pick it up. Yeah, they have a warehouse in Vegas. We should be able to... I think the Vegas one is mostly like jerseys that aren't signed. Oh, I see. The so more like the retail stuff? Yeah, like hats and stuff. Not like the member. The one in Florida is really big. I think it's like Fort Lauderdale. Spellbound, Saquon Barkley. But they just bought Steiner. So Did they really buy Steiner? Yeah. Oh, I think someone mentioned that in the chat. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. It's crazy. Now they have I, didn't know Steiner, I didn't know Steiner was for sale. We should have bought Steiner. I don't think they said how much it sold for. Yeah, Greg Sports Card saying that's why Casino went to tickets, right? Because millions of uncashed tickets. And that's why, yeah, retailers love gift cards what because... Did they, what did they do before tickets? Because... Wait, what did they do before tickets then? They just it dispensed out cash? Yeah, what did they do before tickets, actually? Yeah, I'm too young. I'm too... Yeah, I don't remember a day without tickets. They must have written something. I'm too stupid to even think of something. What if they had, like, Dave Buster's tickets? <laughs> like the ski wall tickets? It was just cash. Oh, cash. Wow. That's awesome. Man, Vegas is so greedy. Wow. I'd give out cash to you guys if, I, if we could do that. Maybe we, Maybe we should invent a service. I shouldn't say it's on air. Where you can fax cash. What? Are you kidding me? Why not just use Ven- Venmo? Yeah, but people want cash because it's undisclosed. Bitcoin. So, so, that's why Bitcoin is... Bitcoin's okay. at 13. We'll just dispense our gift cards in Bitcoin. They'll never be used. <laughs> no one, Nobody would use it. Can't, can't people pay with people. Bitcoin? It's at... Oh, it dropped to like 12, 6. It's at 13 last night. Nikhil Harry for... Karen, see, this is what happens when we do these long breaks. We just go, oh, I almost knocked that over. I think I go on like a tangent. Bet my Bitcoin on like women's soccer or something. <laughs> Out of 25, <laughs> Easton Stick. Whoa, it's quarters. Vinny, you won $400 oh, on a slot sense. machine that was still quarters. They had to refill the machine was a quarter halfway through. If you go into the old part of Vegas, you can see some of the casinos still have the quarter yeah. slots where like you can hear the. I, I, I even remember some quarter slots. They used, remember. Um, what happened to all the buckets? You guys remember? You guys I've, yeah, remember like, when you I were a kid? A casino, yeah. you, when you were a kid, yeah. like there'd be 
there would be plastic buckets with all the casino logos on the side and everything, and they would... There's a casino in Vegas. It's like, not the Golden Nugget, but one of those. I was like, they, they must have made millions of buckets. Where they, they still have the buckets today. Oh, it's really? Cool, yeah. But, like, if you walk in there, like, you'll get, like, long cans. Must, must have millions of buckets. There's so many cigarettes. Wow. Justice Hill, five out of five. Justice is served to to Nick T. There you go, Nick. Good to see you. Nick T back in the action. You should have the Law and Order song. Do 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 do. Dun dun. Do 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 do. Nick, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Boom boom. Do 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 do. I mean, what do they? What does it say? Like the woman says. At law and, at, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the Law and Order intro is, but there's like the. She says something where it's like the court is not like. I don't know. Like it's that. just like it used to be like. I don't know. The defense and justice system, and these are their stories. Yeah. And then it goes dun dun. Do 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 do. I don't think anyone knows what you're talking about, or who that is. What are you talking about, Ollie? You speak in riddles, Ryan. I think you're in the wrong chat. Nobody's named Nate Springfield here. Adam Thielen to 199. This Ryan L. is just a wild card in the chat sometimes. You never know what's going to happen. Trees! I mean, Cash is King Nate <laughs> Springfield. I'm right here in Vegas. Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> oh boy come on man Vinny how long did it take you to get the $400 in quarters that's like when I win like I've won $1,000 in tickets at Dave Buster's and it takes like forever Rich. right which, like a, which, which cuts into which cuts into gambling yeah. time yeah you need a spotter like a little kid to watch yeah over your, and then you go play more you gotta have a spotter but that's interesting that they switched to tickets because of that I mean, That's gotta be one of the. I mean, convenience probably, and then, yeah. I, I mean, think I guess. Mike said he used to go when he was a kid around the horse track and pick up tickets and would make like hundred dollars a day of people wow. dropping winning tickets or like fifty. Yeah, I guess I guess that makes sense. Yeah. I like horse track. Out of two ninety nine, Fran Tarkenton. Another horse died too. That's kind of sad. Santa Anita. It was like the last. Race. I'm telling you, there's there's a there is at San Anita there's a horse death problem. I'm sure I some of you. I think I think someone's murdering these horses. I think it's like. A, a, I think there's a horse serial killer on the loose. I think it might be the animal protection groups that are trying to. Wow, that's dark. Is that dark? Well, I mean, kind of, but it's just like these animal protection groups who've gone so far, so crazy yeah. that they're willing to kill to stop. I mean, I love animals, <laughs> but. Stop horse racing? It might be. You never know. I feel like we're not making them do anything they wouldn't do already. <laughs> Run? <laughs> <What>? Yeah. <laughs> and get whipped? What are you talking well, I mean, about? They don't get whipped that hard. They're just horses. They want to run. Yeah, and then they want to like, compete. And their hooves like break on the uneven sand and like die. How do they? How do they run around? I just don't get why they have to Impact shoot. impressions out of 75. I asked my roommate why they this. Have to shoot him she then? is a horse girl, right? Okay. And she grew up in Oregon, like like growing up with horses and blah, 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 blah. Um, she says that their bones are so brittle, like they'll never uh, uh, heal. They're all connected. Yeah, they're all connected, and there's like blood vessel issues. Titans, that goes to Amy Thompson, by the way. Um, and so it will, it'll never heal, and it's just bad for them. And they can't, you know, lot most horses don't sleep uh, sitting down, right? Oh yeah, I remember. So, so like they, yeah. so like they couldn't sleep. It's just like their quality of life would be so much more horrible. They sleep standing up, huh? That's crazy. Most, most, yeah. And so there's some weird horses that you'll see lie down, but and they could I think lie that down. That means they're but, sick, I right, think, or something. And so, so you have so like the quality yeah. of life would be so horrible that it's right more. It's more efficient humane. to just yeah put them down. That's why, folks. You're sort of in a dark corner. Sorry. Yeah, Hollendorfer got banned. Like one of the one of these like Hall of Fame trainers, Edward. Oh yeah, I saw that. Wow, nice. Benny Snell Jr. and nice. Dante Johnson. I think that might be the first Steeler hit. There you go. Yeah, this might be our first Steeler hit, and it's a dual auto seal curtain. Nice.
These there are you their go. stories. Don't nice pen, pen, pen pal duel. Justice Hill, if you had a walk up song, that had to be nasty. Yeah, it had to be Law and Order. Do, 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 Law and Order, I don't SVU. Like any of them. Standard Law I like and Order. Like Five O. Standard Law and Order, pretty solid. But SVU, that's just. Yeah, it's. Too that gets dark. Me. Like I don't enjoy it's watching like, that. It's like Criminal Minds gets really dark. Yeah, it's like those murder podcasts. You're like, I don't want to. So popular. Like oh, true pe life pe or whatever. Pe people true love true crime. Yeah, yeah, people love true crime. Yeah. We could we could do true crime breaks. Like we'll do breaks and yeah, just and talk about murders, that, yeah. and I'll bet you our view count will skyrocket if we market it. Ted Bundy yeah, if or we, not Ted Bundy. If we market yeah, it as, yeah. People love that stuff. All right, and Josh Norman at the very end. Thank you very much, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hey, Dr. Nick. All right. Did not make a Barkley. We, we almost did. We got bar out of Barkley. All right, so we got that. I don't think we got close to Mahomes. We didn't get any more Khalil Mack. Did get, did not get Mayfield. Yeah, there's probably about two hundred numbered cards. No, we didn't quite. We didn't get close. My uh, my my blank pile right here. Huh? It survived. I think I got a little help with the with the piece of paper in the back. All right, quick randomizer for this. So, they cost like five cents uh, more. Do you see that yeah. No, they're not. They're not. My dad says they are. So, one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. So, those are the positions that we're randomizing here. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list three times. I don't have anything else to randomize, right? Yeah. Three times. Three and out. One, so. two, and three. It'll be position number four. So all the teams in this spot right here will be getting these type of cards. I don't think any of them were numbered, but we'll send those out there. And that's it, folks. Uh, thank you very much. Pick your team three in the books. More in the store. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com.